Hey guys, what's going on? It's KMC Gamer here, and I'm going to show you guys how to make your own League of Legends textures and map skins and character skins and all that cool stuff. Um, I just want to get this right out of the way right now that I'm no expert at Photoshop or League of Legends or, you know, I don't really know everything there is to know about this stuff. I'm pretty much, this is like a getting started kind of thing. I'm going to help you guys get started with what you need to have in order to actually do this stuff and show you a few examples of everything that I can show you for now. So, I'm on EurixiWorks.com and this guy has a bunch of textures, a bunch of map textures and character textures and he's very current with his um, his skins and stuff so you should definitely go check out this website. If you don't want to work on your own textures you can actually download his and then install them into the game. Let's get started with what you need to have in order to actually do this. So, the first thing you're going to need to have is the DDS plugin for Photoshop. DDS files can't be opened in Photoshop normally, so you're going to have to download this plugin in order to actually do that. So you just click on 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on what kind of machine that you have. Um, these next two things, you don't need them, they're not necessary, but they make your life a whole lot easier when working with DDS files. So this first one is Windows Texture Viewer. And what that is going to do is, it's a very small program, and if you don't have this program, you're going to have to open DDS files in Photoshop every single time you want to actually look at one. If you download the Windows Texture Viewer, you can open it up in the small program, and it makes for looking through DDS files very simple and efficient. So I definitely recommend getting this. And I also recommend getting Sage Thumbs. I did a little digging around, and I found this plugin. Um, it's not really a plugin actually, it's more like a program kind of. It just installs in the background and what it does is when you're in the Windows Explorer and you're looking through DDS files, um, it shows you thumbnails of the files so you can quickly scroll through the files very easily and look for which textures you want to change. This next one is the Skin Installer Ultimate and this changes a lot so I'm going to be linking you guys to the download screen and it could be really any version right now so we're downloading 3.34 right now by the time you guys see this you could be downloading 4.0 or so I don't I don't know um, League of Legends is always changing and so so is this stuff so um, just download the most recent version that you can and install it and that is pretty much it for all of the stuff that you need so oh, there's my League of Legends and amazing wallpaper so what we're going to be doing first is I'm going to show you the Windows um, DDS viewer. The um, I definitely recommend making a folder for all this stuff. Like right here, you can see that I made a League of Legends mods folder just for this tutorial. Um, I already have one, so let's go into mine. And you're going to have this folder called DDS viewer. And you're going to click on WTV and you're going to open up the actual viewer. And all you really need to do is click help and then associate DDS files with WTV. So whenever you click a DDS file, it'll automatically open through this program. So that's really good. So that's pretty much it for that. We're going to open up Skin Installer Ultimate. So wherever you installed that, you're going to uh, open it up. And it says that there is, um, I don't know what that was actually, but I think my League of Legends files changed. I just uh, reset everything so that I could do this tutorial, but for the first time, if you guys are opening this for the first time, it'll probably get stuck at 45% like it is right now. There are a ton of League of Legends files, so um, it's going to take a while to actually load all this stuff. So be patient, and I can't uninstall while this is going. So I'm just going to pause the video until it's over. Okay, so mine loaded all the files. Um, you're not going to have these installs, these uh, skins right now, so I'm just going to uninstall them for the tutorial. I was just kind of testing stuff. So I'm just going to delete those. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually get the skins that we want to edit. So we're going to go to the Skin Creation tab, and then we're going to click on RAF. And like I said, there's a huge amount of League of Legends files, so it's got to go through all of them. So it takes a while to load this stuff, so just take a breather, take a sip of water, eat something. I don't, I don't know. All right, here we go. So depending on whether or not... If you want to do a character skin or a map skin, uh, for a character skin, you're going to want to go to data, and then you're going to want to go to, um, where is it, characters. And then you click on the character that you want to um, do. So let's say I want to do Ari. I click the plus sign next to Ari, and then you go to 
skins, click the plus sign next to skins, and then these are all of the skins for Ari. You got the base, which is her normal default skin, and then you got all the other skins like Foxfire Ari or that purple one that I don't know the name of, Midnight, or I don't know what it is, but you get the gist. Um, if you want to do a skin, you click the uh, little arrow right next to base or whatever skin you want to modify, click the arrow next to it, and then you're going to export it to your desktop or wherever you're working from. So um, for the sake of tutorial, we're actually um, not going to do a character skin. We're going to do a map skin since that's what I wanted to focus on. So we're going to go to levels, and here you have all of the maps that there are in League of Legends. Map number one is Summoner's Rift, and then I'm not exactly sure what all these other ones are. I'm pretty sure, you know, they're the Dominion maps or... Um, Twisted Tree Line and all the other ones that there are, but I know map number one is Summoner's Rift, so that's the one that we're going to be working in. So you can click the plus next to map one. And now we're going to put a check mark next to info, and then we're going to go into the scene, and then put a check mark next to textures, and then we're going to export those to our desktop. So we'll do that really quick. I'm only working from my desktop uh, for the tutorial, but work in a folder it just makes everything a whole lot easier. I'm going to end up eventually putting this in that folder though. So That's a lot of text. Uh, you don't need to read it. You just click yay. And that's it for backing up things. So I think we're done in here for now. Um, what I want you to do right now, just moving this over a little bit. Um, I'm just going to put this inside of there. Okay. So these are all of the textures for the map Summoner's Rift. And they take a while to load because there's a ton of them. But these are all the textures. What we're first going to do is actually uh, make a copy of this entire folder um, just so that we have a copy of it so that um, if we ever screw anything up, which you're bound to do so, you don't have to go into League of Legends and actually repair the entire thing because that takes forever. If you make a copy of this folder, you can um, just fix League of Legends without having to go through the entire repair system. So that's good. I'll just archive it just because it makes it easier to actually know which one is my copy. Okay. Now we are actually going to get into editing the skins. So we'll, we'll go to where um, all of the textures are and we'll just pick one. So let's just say I want to do... Um, hmm. I gotta pick one. Let's say I want to do Wall of Grass, which is the brush in League of Legends that you walk into and become invisible. So I'm just going to open this up really quick. It's not going to show up in 3D because um, these textures are wrapped around 3D objects. So it's going to show up in 2D. And what you want to take note of is the format that it's in, the size of it, and the MIP maps, and the memory. You want to just take down these notes of what these are. You can have this running in the background if you want to. Um, we're just going to be referencing these specifications of this texture later on. So we're going to open up Photoshop CS6. Here we go. And I'm just going to pull this over to the side. And I'm going to drag in Wall of Grass into Photoshop. We're going to load using default sizes and then click OK. And now we can get to editing this texture. I just want to say right now that um, certain textures have transparency so I'll just let me see if I can find one with transparency uh, I think this one does okay here we go so the pink is transparent and what that means is everything that is pink won't show up and everything that isn't pink will so you can see that it gradually fades to pink which means that it will gradually fade out so if I were to load this up in Photoshop um, it would show a whole lot more like it would show this entire box but when you load it up into League of Legends, it's only going to show like this little area and then these like little specs. So you want to keep that in mind. And you can edit the transparency options in Photoshop. And I guess I'll show that a little later or in a different tutorial if I can. So let's edit Wall of Grass. Um, let's make let's make the grass red. So let's just I'm going to bring up the hue and saturation. I'm just going to go like this and. I'm going to really bring out the red. And this little portion over here is the stem when the brush is in the lakes, the uh, rivers, whatever you want to call it. This is the stem, so I'm going to actually just change this. 
actually wait, I can do that with a pen tool. So I'm just going to quickly go like this, like that, and all the way around, make selection, and I'm just going to make a um, layer via copy, and then I want to make it um, white. So I'm going to go like this, I have to bring this all the way up to the top since um, it's not going to work. Oh wait, wrong one. Here we go. I'm going to make this black and white by going like this. I'm just going to bring this actually all up. I want the stem to be white and I'll just bring up another curves and I'll just increase the brightness and that looks good. So now we're going to save as and this is where the specifications of the wall of grass come into play. So what you want to do is go down to DDS and make sure it saves it overwrites the original file so that it keeps the same name as the file. So we're gonna click save replace it. Now this file doesn't have any alpha so DXT1 no alpha would work for this one um, and you can see over here that the format is DXT1 so um, we have this set up correctly. Um, you can see that the mit map is one out of one, so we're going to put one over here, but we're also going to put the check mark next to generate mit maps. I don't know why this works, but it does. Uh, I have no idea why. You can t 2D preview, and this is the preview of the skin, so that should work. And yeah, so we can save over this now. And you can see down here, if I scroll, that it changed and you can tell that it was the same specifications which means that you did it right so now we have red grass with white stems so we're going to import that into League of Legends now so I'll just bring this over here and we're gonna open up skin installer ultimate once again and I already have it open actually so and don't mind this number down here I don't know if you can see this or not but it's a uh, DX Tory running in the background I don't know why that's running but whatever so we're going to edit just the wall of grass, so we're going to drag and drop wall of grass into the League of Legends skin installer. And we can give this skin a name, so I'm just going to call it ASDF with the author ASDF. And we're going to add to database. Now you can see that the skin, you can get a, a preview of the skin, and we can see that it's red with the white stem. You're going to put a check mark next to the skin, and then install it. And click OK and save and now it is installed successfully so we're going to go into League of Legends and actually preview this so I'm going to pause and we'll check it out so here we are in League of Legends and as you can see the grass is maroon reddish and purplish and you can see the white stems in the river area um, I think it's it's not as red as I thought it would be. I think because of the lighting in League of Legends, I'm not sure how to change it. I'm not even sure if you can, but um, I think the reason why it's it's got like a purplish, pinkish glow to it is because of the lighting and how ambient stuff works in League of Legends. But if I figure out how to fix that or change it or anything like that, I will put another video up. And you can also see the white stems just like we wanted in the river area, which is really cool. I bet you didn't even know that those existed in the river area. I sure didn't. But yeah, you are totally not limited to just the grass. You can do the entire map. So I'm going to leave you guys with this. This was just a basic tutorial on how to change some textures and stuff. If you want to get rid of the grass, all you have to do is just go back into the uh, skin installer ultimate, uninstall it, and then delete it. And yeah, I will make another tutorial if I come across anything new or anything changes drastically. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.